Namaste viewers, I am Dr. Sunita Naredi, Infectious Disease Physician at Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad. We are here today to talk about the COVID vaccine and who is eligible for the COVID vaccine. We are in a pandemic situation and we have to make sure the vaccine reaches to the most eligible persons initially and thereafter go on to the next group based on the risk stratification. When you try to risk stratify who is at risk for COVID infection, first comes the uh, frontline workers and the healthcare workers. So in phase one, the fr uh, frontline workers and the uh, healthcare workers were covered. So now we are in the phase two. When you're talking about, uh, again, COVID vaccine, we are talking about uh, who is at one risk for developing the infection and who is at, uh, who is likely to develop the most severe form of the disease, uh, the elderly people or people who have other major medical comorbidities. So if you're talking about what are the other major comorbidities that can put people at a severe COVID or people who can die from COVID, you're talking about uh, uncontrolled diabetes or diabetes with heart disease, diabetes and hypertension or uh, immunocompromised hosts or if you have a heart disease and you have a stent, you have a heart disease and you had a uh, bypass surgery or if you have a liver disease, kidney disease, uh, any of these conditions put, will put you at a higher risk of developing complications from COVID. So these people are covered in the phase two of the COVID vaccinations. When you take the vaccine, it is important that you consult your doctor before taking the vaccine, especially if you have major allergies or if you are on blood thinners. When we talk about blood thinners, we are talking about people who are on therapeutic anticoagulation. That is, we are not talking about aspirin and uh, clopidogrel, but people who are on blood thinners if they have a heart valve and so on. Okay? So please consult your doctor if you have any of these conditions before taking the vaccine. So if you are part of any of these groups, categories, and you qualify for the vaccine in the phase 2, then you need to register yourself in the Apollo 24-7 website. Even after the vaccination, remember to use your mask because the vaccine prevents uh, severe infection but does not prevent transmission of infection. So it is always important to wear the mask even after the vaccine.